with the latest update to the DJI Mini 3 Pro, allowing you to fly with the DJI Goggles Integra, Goggles 2 and Motion Controller 2, you can now also do head tracking. Which means if I look to the left, the drone will look to the left. If I look to the right, the drone will look to the right. If I look up, the gimbal will point upwards. And if I look down, the gimbal will point downwards. So let's take a look at how you set up and use this head tracking feature. Let's jump right in. Now, if you're new around here, welcome to The Drone Creative, the channel that helps you learn more about flying drones. From the basics to the most advanced techniques to help you capture beautiful photos and videos. So if you would like to see more of that, then please consider subscribing and making sure that notification bell is on so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. It would be greatly appreciated. So let's first take a look at how you turn on or enable head tracking. And the first thing we need to do is get the drone into the air. So again with the motion controller 2, what you need to do is double tap the lock button until the motors of the drone start and you'll see that notification on the bottom right of the screen. And then you want to press and hold the lock button and the drone will take off into the air. So to turn on head tracking, what you want to do is if you're using the DJI goggles Integra, you want to use the little toggle button on the top right of the goggles and you want to press it downward and you will see this menu drop down from the top of the screen. If you're using the DJI goggles too, you simply want to swipe downward on the touchpad and this will bring down the same menu. And then you want to scroll across to the head tracking option. Now, as you can see with the head tracking off, if I turn my head left, you can see the drone doesn't rotate in the air. And it's the same if I look right, the drone does not move. Also, if I look upwards or downwards, the gimbal stays in place. Now to contrast that, if I go across and turn on head tracking, you can see you get a message on the right side of the screen saying head tracking enabled. And now if I look left, you can see the drone rotates left. If I look right, the drone rotates right. If I look upwards, the drone looks upwards. The gimbal points up towards the sky. And if I look downwards, the gimbal points downwards towards the ground. Now, as you look around, what you might notice is the white circle on the screen stays in the same place. And this little white circle is the direction you are pointing the drone to fly with the motion controller. So whenever you squeeze the trigger on the motion controller, that is the direction in which the drone is going to fly. So if I rotate the motion controller left, you can see that white circle moves over to the left side of the screen and now the drone is flying in that direction. Likewise, if I move the motion controller to the right, you can see the white circle moves over to the right side of the screen and that is now the direction the drone is flying. Now, while I'm looking straight ahead, if I tilt the motion controller down towards the ground, you can see that white circle moves down to the bottom of the screen and the drone is now descending, which you can see using the height altitude on the bottom left of the screen. And if I tilt the motion controller backwards, you can see the drone is now ascending and that white circle moves up towards the top of the screen. So we can rise up towards this awesome mist around this cliff we're getting today. That looks beautiful. And this is how you can see the direction you're pointing your drone to fly with the motion controller using that little white circle on the screen. Now, when you enable head tracking, you will see a new dial appear on the top of the screen. And this shows you how far off center you are looking left or right. So if I look to the left, you can see that dial starts to move to the left. And this is showing me how far left I am looking off center. And if I go back to the center and then look to the right, this dial is starting to show you how far off center I am looking right. So you can use this dial to always bring yourself back to looking straight forward by just making sure that little white triangle is in the center of that dial. So let's go for a quick flight. Now, one of the big benefits I find with head tracking is without head tracking, if I want to look downwards, I have to tilt the motion controller downwards and that starts the drone to descend. And if I want to look upwards, I have to tilt the motion controller backwards and this starts the drone to ascend. But with head tracking, I can fly straight forward and look down and the drone will not descend. You can see the height altitude on the bottom left of the screen is staying exactly the same. And I can look upwards towards the sky and you can see the drone will not ascend. The height is staying exactly the same. Now, another great thing about head tracking is while flying straight forward, you can look left, you can look right. In fact, you can look nearly all the way behind yourself and the drone will continue flying in a straight line. It's a bit like course lock. Wherever you point the motion controller, the drone will fly in that direction. And then using head tracking, you can look in any other direction you want, but the drone will continue flying in a straight line. 
So if I want to fly towards that white circle on the screen, which again is where I have my motion controller pointed towards, squeeze the trigger to start flying in that direction, but then look out towards the sea, you can see the drone is actually continuing to fly towards that white circle. Now the drone is actually rotating in the air, but even though it's rotating around as I look around, it's still continuing to fly towards that white circle. And this makes this head tracking feature awesome for exploring, because it means I can fly in a certain direction with the motion controller, but as I'm flying in that direction, I can actually look around. I can look to the right, I can look down to see what's down below me, this little old building here, or I can look out to sea, and the drone is continuing to fly in one direction. Now alongside this feature being great for exploring, you could also use it to get some really awesome and complex drone moves. So as I fly along this cliff face, for example, I could slowly look up towards the cliffs to get this really nice cinematic drone move. And this is something that you might struggle to achieve using the standard controller when flying the drone. Now you could also use this mode to get some really cool tracking shots. So let's say, for example, I want to track this old building, but this could be someone running or someone cycling, for example. So I'm going to point my drone in a certain direction using the motion controller, squeeze the trigger to start flying in that direction. But then as you fly past the subject or point of interest you want to track, you could use head tracking to keep them centered as you fly past. And even though your drone is flying in a certain direction, you can keep rotating the drone round to keep that subject centered, getting you this really dynamic clip. Now, if you get disorientated at any point, you're not sure the direction you're flying or looking and just get confused, you can pause the drone in the air so that it will stop moving around with your head at any time by pressing the lock button. And then when you're happy to start flying again, you can simply press that lock button again and then continue flying and the head tracking will start working again. Now this can also be useful if after flying for a while, your center point, that's where you look forward to have the drone look forward, has drifted. You can simply press that lock button, move your head to where you want the new center point to be, and then when you press that lock button, the head tracking will have re-centered to that position. Now you can also do things like have the drone descend while looking up with head tracking. So if I tilt my head back to look up towards the sky, but tilt the motion controller down towards the ground and squeeze the trigger, you can see that even though I'm looking up towards the sky, the drone is descending, and you can see that on the height indicator in the bottom left of the screen. Likewise, you can also look downward while ascending, something you wouldn't be able to do without head dragging. So if I tilt my head downward to look down towards this little old building, but tilt the motion controller upwards towards the sky and squeeze the trigger, you can see that even though I'm looking downward, I'm actually ascending in the air. So let's try flying over the top of this little old building. But as I do, I'm gonna look downward slowly, which means I can do this awesome gimbal down move as I'm flying over the top of this building. Now using the motion controller and head tracking, you can also give the sensation of diving the drone down. And you can do that by tilting the motion controller towards the ground, but also looking downward and this makes it look as if your drone is diving towards the ground FPV style. And you can also make it look as if you're climbing by tilting the motion controller backwards and looking towards the sky. And this gives you this awesome FPV feel as you're capturing footage. Now the one thing I will say is if you're looking to use head tracking or even the motion controller to capture cinematic footage, you're gonna have to learn to move the motion controller very gently and smoothly and same with head tracking. You have to move your head very slowly and very smoothly to get cinematic footage. Now, one thing I want to point out is if you're using head tracking mode, obstacle avoidance turns off. So even if you have it set to break or bypass, whenever you enable head tracking, it will turn off. So if I fly towards this old building here, you can see I'm getting the ground detection obstacle avoidance. Then as I get close to the building, you can hear the beeping. You can see the red line on the obstacle radar on the screen. And if I squeeze the trigger, the drone won't let me fly into this obstacle because the brake obstacle avoidance mode is preventing me from doing that. However, if I press down on the goggles, go across to head tracking, you will see a warning on the bottom right of the screen saying obstacle sensing disabled. And now you can see that that radar has disappeared from the screen. The beeping has stopped. 
And if I slowly squeeze the trigger, you could see I could actually fly into this. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to fly away from it just to be safe. But that is something you need to be aware of if using head tracking mode, obstacle avoidance turns off. Now, just quickly, I've had a lot of questions and comments about if you're flying the DJI Mini 3 Pro with the goggles integrate, goggles 2 and motion controller 2, can you put the camera into vertical mode? And unfortunately, after looking through all the menus, this doesn't look like it's currently possible. So hopefully this quick demonstration shows you how easy it is to use head tracking with the DJI Mini 3 Pro and the possibilities it allows. Now before you go, if you liked this video and you learned something new, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you love all things drones and want to know how to get more cinematic videos and better images with your drone, then I recommend you check out my channel where I have a ton of other content to help you level up your drone game. If you don't want to miss any of them upcoming videos, then please remember to subscribe and make sure that notification bell is checked so that you will be alerted when a new video comes out. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to stick around and watch a few more tutorials now, here's a few I personally recommend. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.